Alhamdulillah that Allah granted us immense gift of tariqahs and spiritual path towards the heart of Divine the Presence, towards the heart and the love and ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad And only Allah come into our life for every time there's a medicine, for every sickness there's a medicine and every time has its way to approach. And because of days of difficulty and what they call last days, the days in which we find this existence coming towards its end, and this way of life that people know coming towards an end and every end has a beginning but that phase of ending is quite difficult, quite traumatic. And only Allah come as a rahmah from Allah and guidance through the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and give us a means in which to be safeguarded. And the time for immense amal and great actions and deeds that are astonishing have passed. And what lies before people is the immense ocean of hypocrisy in which they do everything bad, they're on every bad platform and they talk of good and they talk of good actions none of which they perform to the caliber of, of what Allah is expecting means this the door of coming through your actions and your deeds in which you, you feel that your, your deeds and prayers and fasting and, and giving and is so immense that will save you through these immense difficulties and these stations of proximity and nearness which are not even achievable by the highest of deeds and the best of servants that this gate of nearness, this gate of protection and love and ishq is only achievable through muhabbat and love. And that's why in these days of difficulty you hear this channel. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs Please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also. Be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh Broadcasting love, broadcasting the love of Allah which is its secret because everyone may be claiming to love Allah Every denomination, religion, everyone is claiming to love the Creator, the Divine, the Presence and whatever else they're, they're calling that. And Allah gave for us, قُلِينِ كُنْتُمْ تُهِبُّونَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّبِعُونِ That tell your people and those whom will come to you for guidance through Holy Qur'an, if they want my love فَاتَّبِعُونِ that they have to follow you Ya Sayyidina Muhammad وَيُحِبُّكُمُ This is a tremendous key for us in a day in which everyone is going to claim they love God, they'll follow this magician, they love God, they're going to do this, many miracles, all these crazy, crazy things that open up onto this earth. And our key and our gate and our door is very clear in these days of difficulty that you're not going to get there by actions, 
look they're all running after a ball and in the, the audience and the stadiums feeling it. The world is collapsing, people are struggling, world wars are occurring, finance and banks are collapsing and they have people distracted running after a ball and paying hundreds of billions of dollars to make that ball happen in that region. You can see then the state of people where you think what the amal is, this, this nation is going to be relying on their amal. And awliyaullah's rahman immense, immense hikmah is they, they take from these contracts and these realities that Allah is clarifying if they want My real Divinely love that your people have to follow Sayyidina Muhammad And from that awliyaullah extracted that hadith of Prophet that, you be with whom you love. There are people whom their actions are weak. Well, we just explained that's everyone, that's hundred percent. Maybe there's less than, less than 001% hidden awliya whom they're completely perfect, they're not exposed to anything, Allah has them hidden in caves or somewhere in a mountain, in a well, something. Beside those everyone else is amongst humanity and lost with the insanity. And awliyaullah came and gave us through these contracts and these realities that you be with whom you love. And although their actions are weak, what will save them is their love because whom you love will be with you. So then like a contract they understood that if they want Allah's love, follow Prophet Allah will love you then equals. This hadith of Prophet you be with whom you love. That was a key from Prophet As a result of you be with whom you love, whom you love will be with you. Make sure you, write, you love the right person. You love bad people hoping for a good end, you look around your friends and say, these are the people I'm going to be raised with. In my grave and in my paradise or if they even reach to paradise. And the best of those to love is Sayyidina Muhammad So then we understand, oh why awliyaullah in these days talking about this? This is a, a like a, an evacu- evacuation tube out of a burning building. Others may not even see this building is burning and ablaze. And they don't know how to guide and they're telling people in this burning building, let's uh, take the elevator, let's take the stairs and they start journeying through a burning building. If they have any perception they understand, oh there's something happening in this building and they carefully retreat and they go through different processes so that to be safe from difficulties but inevitably they're ending up in stairwells and elevators and in difficulty. And as a result if you've ever seen a burning building and if you're in a stairwell you're going to choke to death or if in an elevator you're going to burn to death because that's not the safe way of leaving. So this is like an analogy for us to understand the extent of difficulty that's happening. And when people don't care about the flock of people that they represent and they don't care on how to guide them through this difficulty and how to safeguard them through this difficulty, they make all their inappropriate gestures and inappropriate actions. And you see so much of this now. See somebody posting from that soccer game and holding up artificial beer and saying, there's no alcohol in this and supposedly a shaykh and a guide for people. That in these days of difficulty if you assimilate with bad actions and imitate bad actions and, and, and bad vices and bad characteristics, you have to be worried about the weaker within your community who struggle against alcohol and addiction and and family that want to drink with them and be around them and, and go to inappropriate environments. 
means then these guides are even few, they care only for themselves. They don't care what they post and what they do and they don't care the extent of what's and who's behind them following in their way and becoming devastated and destroyed by those actions. Means the extent of having a consciousness of not only what I do is important but the effect it has on everybody whom is interested in following so that they can be safely guided out of this building. And this tariqah training and the extent and the power of these awliyaullah, they don't even use the stairs and the elevator. They're providing for us an evacuation chute. They show these skyscrapers now and they, they make these devices that from the window of a room they shoot out of the window into a tube straight to the ground because they know anybody who's going to walk in that building going to be burned. Anybody going into that elevator of that burning building going to be burned because there's no way out of that. But for every difficulty Allah has a cure and there is no guidance except for whom Allah guides, Hadan Allah. So guidance is from Waliun Murshidun, these big awliya whom Allah granted into their heart evacuation tubes because Allah wrote it, said, I'm going to make this building burn and there'll be no safety for you on the stairs, there'll be no safety for you on the elevators and what you're going to do by jumping out of the window means many people will be struck by terror and fear when they see what events are opening. And they have no guide and no one even trying to take them in the stairs or down the elevator, they just merely will jump from the window and give up all hope. But those whom Allah guides, we see through these teachings, this is an evacuation shoot. So they understood, not gather people, this building is in difficulty, this earth is like one building that has been set ablaze. The fire's on the ground and the smoke is rising. Those whom have any consciousness can understand and begin to smell something's not right. So they begin to now prepare for something that's coming and as a result of their preparation they understood the safest most powerful way is the love of Sayyidina Muhammad so that they can gain Allah's love. Allah's love is everything is the only thing and as a result they extracted from that reality a safety, a shoot for all of those whom follow them. Like a parachute through this fire and through this blaze, you be with whom you love although your actions are weak. Why? Because normally in this fire you'd have to be huge awliya to escape these difficulties from what Allah gives them of powers and gifts that inshaAllah will be activated during these calamities. But Allah is giving this through, you be with whom you love because Prophet's rahmah and mercy for the last of mankind, the end of days that these are my muhibeen and ashiqeen whom love me and they would do anything for one glimpse of me because they were taught to love me more than they love themselves. As a result that hadith opens its key that, I know your amal and actions are weak. I'm not astonished, I'm not thinking you're great people praying beyond imagination and, and, and the surprising Allah with all our actions and our, our understanding of fiqr and, and all these actions. Prophet is describing for us, although their actions are weak. But the love they have guarantees them to be with whom they love. So these shaykhs are instilling within your heart, take this out, take that out and put within your heart the love of Sayyidina Muhammad not by your tongue but by your actions. Show it in every possible way. Do your nasheed, do your salawas, do your zikr, do your awrads. Do your charity, do your support, do all of these things to promote the Muhammadan love and ishq. 
So written all over your heart and your being that you're Ashiqeen and Muhammadiyoon and as a result whom you love is with you. That then opens up Ayatul Kareem from Qur'an and its safety that how I can punish them while you are amongst them because whom you love will be with you, whom you love will love you and will be with you when you keep that companionship of ishq and love, good character, not bad character, not harming people with your tongue and with your hand God forbid. But having the good character and love and ishq of Allah and then they begin to do these loving and good deeds and as a result they gain an immense love and proximity for Sayyidina Muhammad And as a result Prophet dresses them from Ayatul Kareem in which Allah now answers, how can I punish them? Well you are amongst them and they're asking for forgiveness. Means the awrads that they've given to us make istighfar all day long, half the day, astaghfirullah lazeem wa tubu alayk. Astaghfirullah lazeem wa tubu alayk and the rest of the day Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Ya Rabbi in the name of your mercy and your compassion. And from Allah's reply, Alhamdulillah that you ask in my name and Alhamdulillah I grant you your forgiveness. means the immensity of this relationship and the hadith opens like a key the Holy Qur'an. And this Ayatul Kareem comes and, and grants us our shoot out of this fire that Allah said, how I can punish them? Means that everything will be ablaze but how I'm going to punish you when you're busy making istighfar and that He is with you because you love Him and He loves you. You did everything you could to attract that love and as a result you gain the nazar and the gaze of Prophet Even against all those who mock and make fun and, and, and have ridicule and they take Islam as a joke and a game. Allah describes them, they think the religion is like a playtime and through all of that they pray patiently persevere. They do their awrads, they do their practices, they wear what they have to wear, they look like how they have to look because they want to imitate the one whom they love. Why you have to look like that? Why? Because Sayyidina Muhammad looks like that. And the one whom I love is everything that I want to be. I want to take my last breath looking like whom I love acting like whom I love to the best, the greatest of humanity we can only do a, a, a nail's worth of its reality. But they show us and they give to us this key, they say, why are we doing these things if this building is burning and this dunya is burning and they give precisely that Ayatul Qur'an is, is our guidance. That tell them if they want my love they have to follow you in everything with their soul and with their body they must be following you. As a result I will love them and forgive them. And then the secret of its opening comes the holy hadith of Prophet you be with whom you love. Although your actions are weak but the love they have has gained a nearness to that reality and whom you love will be with you, you are now keeping the companionship of Allah's most holiest creation, most praised creation throughout all the universes is the ishq and love and muhabbat of Sayyidina Muhammad 
and all those whom love Prophet It's not what you know in life, it's who you know. If Prophet love is with you, imagine all the Khalifas are with you. When they ask, oh, what are you people? Are you Sunni, Shia, what are you? We're all shaqeen. And if you had a drop of what that meant is that who I love is with me and whom I love if he's with me, all holy companions are accompanying Prophet at all times. And with me walk Nabiin, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin and Allah with all of them. And above everything is Allah unifying that power. That becomes the immense key and as a result their awrads and zikr became their safeguard which Allah's promise that now they achieve this love they are with you. Allah is then clarifying how I can punish them while you are amongst them and they're asking for forgiveness. And this is our safety through these days of difficulty. Our safety through these d- days of difficulty. Not shaykh should I hide here, should I go move there, should I go run and do this, should I go hide my identity, should I blend in? to this people, that people. The one who wrote this program, it's only escape is through his hands and his mercy, not through the stairs and not through an elevator. You can't walk through the, the, this analogy, oh well I'll walk through here and I'll get through that fire. No this fire is burning everything. Only najat is if Allah grants you that shoot in which through the very flames of its burning, bulyan nahru kuni bardan wa salaman they begin to escape through the fire as if the fire not even touching them. Because the Qur'an is guiding them, ishq and love of Sayyidina Muhammad is shielding them. And though I walk through the valley of death I fear not for I know that my Lord is with me. Who can say that if they didn't clarify these ayahs? How you can say Allah is with you if Allah said, you should be with Prophet And then we broadcast on social media and they say, what are you people doing? If we play soccer all the Muslims know what we're doing. If we sit in majlis of zikr and salawat they think we're aliens. I mean, all you know is a fake beard, a fake beer and a soccer ball. This is the only thing you understood from Islam. That you tune into a, a channel and you say, what are these Muslim people doing? Are you even Muslim? Why are you doing this? You can, you can see the extent of the fire of difficulty on this dunya and the rahmah that Allah gave to us of this love that's so precious that when you hear our words don't think everybody has it. You've been given an immense gift. If you understand my words and you understand this love and you feel that you have even a a bit of that entering into your heart, you have been given an immense gift from Allah Most are lost on a bowl drinking imitation beer. And they think that this is the apex of their life. To understand Allah gave us this love, gave us this ishq, now what are you going to do with it? What are you going to achieve with it? How are you going to safeguard this love in every day? How to safeguard it, I have to do more, I have to, to, to spread it more, I have to try to, to put out that love. One. So that the one whom I love can see I'm actually spreading your love. Because what, what is the empty love? When I say I love you and I do nothing to show that love, to show that love, what's the purpose of that love? You hiding it? You're ashamed of it? Well, the one you love is looking too. So, it means the tariqah is coming and teaching the best of manners. If you love him, let the world know there's nothing to hide. 
best that you die with people knowing you are Muhammadiyoon. In every action let that be known who you are. In every video you post it's the ishq and love of Sayyidina Muhammad And you post enough and post enough and share enough and share enough until you gain the nazar of Prophet in which his nazar and holy nazar is watching. And then the barakah and the blessings begin to flow into your life. Why? Not because your cleverness, no, no, not because you, you, you found a car, a key and some gas and things are happening and coming your way. The barakah in our life begins to overflow because the immensity of that holy vision is now looking. If He looks upon me, He can turn my emptiness and my empty space to shine like the sunshine and that becomes the reality of the moon. Look it's just beaten and old and tired but if for a moment He should look at me, I will shine like the moon and the world will be astonished. But if His nazar doesn't come, it's just something old and tired. And this is the example the moon is giving to us, everything is in search of that nazar. The immensity of that holy gaze that when it looks upon us, its light, its power, its blessing become the source of all barakah and blessings and in days of difficulty become the source and the shield from all fire and difficulty. That every fire be around us. And Allah gives to us, قُلْ يَنَّحْرُكُونِ بَرْدًا وَالسَّلَامًا Don't worry, I'll say, be to the fire cool and peaceful. For these lovers and ashiqeen of Sayyidina Ibrahim and Sayyidina Muhammad because they are with Nabiyeen and they love all the Nabiyeen and all they teach and talk about are the Nabiyeen and those whom dearest to Allah Means this way of love is a is an immense safety for us. If anyone needs to be explained or why, why are you doing the way you do? Because for every difficulty and every time Allah has a solution. And in the immensity of this darkness and these difficulties that are coming onto this earth, Allah is giving a, a shoot and a najat like an elevator, a special ex like a sh what is like a not even a parachute, a special tube in which jump in and sh straight through the fire to escape these difficulties. We pray that Allah complete His ni'mat and His favours upon our soul, upon our heart, upon our, our families and our communities and our children. And that Allah's love and ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad dress our hearts and bless our hearts, our family and our communities, inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.